Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can update data in Superbase. So if I click on this edit button, it takes me to the slash post, slash post ID, slash update page. And this page doesn't exist. So let's create that. Let's first create the UI, then we will create the server action for that. So inside app, then post, then post ID. Let's create another directory, update, slash page.js. Let's create a component and again get the params. It needs to be async const post ID. We also need to await this. And let's call the get single post function that we had created in the previous video and pass the post ID. Let's get the post. Await. And let's add a link. This is for getting back to the post page. And then we will add a form. Update post form. And pass the post as props. And let's create that component. Date post form dot JSX. And let's get the post as prop. And let's add the form UI. So we have this basic form with this title input. Then we have this text area for content. And then we have this checkbox. And then we have two buttons. One button for updating the post, another button for deleting the post. And I have commented some code, which I will uncomment them in a minute. So that's pretty much it. And the form looks like this. Now we can create the server action. So let's create another function. Update post. Again, it will take two parameters, the previous state and the form data. We will get the post ID inside our previous state. So const post ID from previous state and let's create the client and let's get the form fields using the get method and make sure you pass the correct input name and pass the name attribute to your input tags now let's call the update method on the superbase client so superbase from posts and call the update method and pass the data that you want to update. It will actually merge with the existing data. So pass form fields. And we also need to add a filter. So EQ ID equals to post ID. So if the post ID matches with the ID of any of the row, then we will update that row. And if any kind of error happens, We will return the error message and the form fields. We will also pass the post ID. We are passing the post ID just to make sure that we get the post ID again in the previous state. And if there isn't any error, we can return a success response. Again, we will return post ID, then form fields, then success post updated successfully error to an empty string now go to the update post form and now we can use the use action state hook we need to pass the update post function oops I need to export that as well update post and if you're not sure how use action state works i have the entire tutorial about this or you can also watch the second tutorial how we can use use action state and then we can pass an initial post sorry an initial state so let's create that 
So we have passed the form fields and we're going to set the post data as default values for the inputs. Then we have passed the post ID, error and success to an empty string. Now let's get the return values. So we will be getting first the update state, update post action is update pending. Um, I need to add use client directive. Now let's add the form action to the form. Update post action. And uh, let's add default value to post or title. Sorry, not post or title. It should be. Uh, actually, let's destructure that. So the default value would be title. Then default value here would be content. Then for the input, uh, checkbox input default checked for is public. And we can also display error state and a success state. I will uncomment this. I don't need delete error for now. It doesn't exist. So if any kind of error happens, we're going to display them. Also, I will add the loading state. We will disable if the state is pending. Also, display a loader. We will handle the delete button in the next video. So now let's try to update. So I will change the title, the evolution of web development v2, update post, post updated successfully. And now if I go to the database, here you can see the post is updated. The title is now the evolution of web development v2. Let's uh, trigger the error state. I will change the post ID to some gibberish. And now if I try to update, you see this error, invalid input syntax for type UID. So this is how you can update data in Superbase. In the next video, we will learn how we can delete data. So that's it for today. Stay safe. Goodbye.